What is going on guys, Local Joe here, and welcome to another Mayhem episode right here on my channel. We're only a week away from, what's it called, uh, for Civil War. So, next week is Civil War, next Sunday. Next Monday is the go-home shows for Mayhem and Chaos, and then on Sunday, the Civil War begins. But we're going to kick things off with the grudge match to settle the score, just like the title says. Last week, Lola, was it Lola? Yeah, Lola called out Velvet right after her match. And Lola hasn't forgotten about their little feud a few months ago. Now, when they came to the arena, we had to separate them because they wanted to get their hands on each other, you know, right when they got to the arena. So we had to separate them, but we're kicking things off with Lola and Velvet inside the steel cage. That's how we're going to settle the score. We in San Antonio. <laughs> San Antonio. You guys came to the right show. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring first from Atlanta, Georgia, Lola Buns. Yo, what's up, Kay? I'm doing great, man. How about you? How you doing? And her opponent from New Jersey, representing Team Velvet. How you been, man? Good? Nice. That's good to hear. So yeah, we had to separate these two when they got to the arena because they just can't stand each other and they just wanted to tear each other apart right when they got to the arena. So I was like, whatever, let's let them open the show in a steel cage. There we go. What a better way to kick off Mayhem then with the steel cage match. Oh, spinning elbow caught by Lola. And now Lola showing off her strength. Tossing Velvet to the middle of the ring. And you can win by pinfall, submission, or by climbing the cage. I think. Drop kick. Oh, 
And now Velvet Russian leg sweep. The ref right there, ready to open that door if one of them gives them the signal. They can climb out of the door as well. But I have yet to see anybody do that yet. As many cage matches that I have, have had, I don't think anyone has even attempted to climb out of the door. But Velvet making the first attempt to escape the cage. I really hope in 2K22 <laughs> make it more realistic climbing the cage. I mean, in this game they make them so stupid. Like they're like, hey, I gotta get my foot inside the you know hole of the cage right there. It's like make it so you button mash every button to climb. Like you don't have to be freaking Spider-Man climbing when you button mash, but like make it like the old one. Oh man! <laughs> Velvet tossing Lola into the cage right there. And I got hiccups. Cool. And there's the local effect. And Velvet going making an attempt to escape the cage. Last time Velvet was involved in a steel cage match was with her partner Vo Foxy. Her and Foxy versus the Banditas in a great steel cage match. Oh, Velvet with the block. And down goes Lola. Can Velvet escape? And Lola catching Velvet before she could make the escape. And another block by Velvet. Down goes Lola. Can Velvet finally escape? She's almost got it. And Lola. Can she bring her back in though? And she does, she pulls her back into the ring. Oh. oh, connecting. But those lefts and down goes Velvet. And now Lola making the attempt. Oh, then. <laughs> Velvet. Oh, I thought she was glitched for a second there. Now it's Velvet trying to bring her back into the ring. Ugh. And now Velvet bringing her back in. Big right. Bouncing her head off the steel. And now Velvet looking to climb. They're both looking to climb. Oh, this is gonna <laughs> not end well. Velvet itching a little closer. Oh, missing with the left. Big right by Lola. And another. And tosses Velvet down to the mat. Velvet gets right back up though. Can Lola get her back in? And now multiple rights. Lola with a nice counter and down goes Velvet again. Oh man, Lola almost, almost won it there and down goes Velvet again. Can Lola finally escape the cage? And she might have just done it. Lola winning the grudge match against Velvet.
that last drop. Velvet hit her head pretty hard on the on the ring. And if Velvet does win the women's TTV title next Monday and successfully defends it at Civil War, I think Lola is going to want a shot. And here is your winner, Lola Buns. So, momentum not looking good for Velvet heading into her title match next Monday. Well, maybe her best friend Foxy could could help get some momentum back when she takes on the women's TTV champion, Cat, in the co-main event. So, the team that's going to be representing Mayhem at Civil War against Doom, the current LCW World Tag Champs is AOP. They defeated Doom a couple weeks ago on Mayhem. So they don't have to be involved in any number one contenders match. You beat the champions, you represent you represent your brand at Civil War. So AOP going up against the former LCW World Tag Champs, Los Loco Lobos. And if you're just tuning in, you missed a great opening contest. Velvet versus Lola in a steel cage match with Lola getting the win. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making their way to the ring first, Akam and Rizar, the authors of pain. Creepers are in full effect right now. And their opponents, Ray Wolf and the TTV champion, Local Joe, Los Loco Lobos. The 
Lobos will be getting their tag team title rematch sometime after Civil War. Depends on what's going on in their singles runs. And Akum just tossing me and Rezar just shoving Ray Wolf. Ooh, nice hip toss by Rezar. Cutter by Local Joe. Irish Whip by Rezar. Back body drop connects. And now working the neck of Ray Wolf. And a backbreaker to Akum. And Rizar just tossing Ray Wolf. And Rizar calling his shot, saying it's over. Nice counter by yours truly. Big elbow by Ray Wolf, finally getting some offense in on Rizar. Big clothesline by Akum. Rizar shoving Ray Wolf. And this would be huge for the AOP to get a win over the former tag champs. Big clothesline by Akum. Super kick that didn't even affect Rizar. And right now the AOP in control of this matchup. Oh, then busting him wide open with that headbutt. And there's a takedown by Local Joe. Akum with big boots right to the chest of Ray Wolf. Oh, nice counter by Ray. Oh, walks right into a clothesline though. And DDT. And now multiple big boots by Razar again. Brain buster to Akum. Oh, nice counter by Agum. And a clothesline. And a clothesline from hell. Well, surely breaking up that pin. Irish whip. Ref bump. Oh, big clothesline by Razar. Rizar was the one that busted open Ray Wolf. And AOP with a big win. And then busting me wide open at the end is Rizar. Busting open both members of the Lobos. And AOP came to fight. Big win for AOP. Probably one of their well, one of their biggest wins since joining LCW. It's like right next to defeating the tag team champions a couple weeks ago. Akum and Razar. You know, I'm glad I got them representing Mayhem at Civil War. I think they'll bring back the titles to Mayhem. go Ashley Jericho we saw her in a match a couple weeks ago right when she came out of or got out of got cleared to compete she's been out with a leg injury until her last matchup was what which was a couple weeks ago I forgot who she faced 
but she did lose, so she's looking to get a get a bounce back win. Ashley Rose Mendez, who was teaming up with Giselle the last time we saw her. Even though she's a mayhem superstar, it's like you could still. Well, since the title. The title's on both shows. It's like a mayhem superstar could actually team up with the chaos superstar. The following contest scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring first. Ashley Jericho. third match yes for some reason I thought it was like the fourth or fifth match already Her opponent from Los Angeles, California, Ashley Rose Mendez. Ashley, who's been in mostly in tag team matches since coming to LCW. Let's see how she does in a singles match. EST of LCW. Ashley, well it's actually Ashley versus Ashley, I just realized that. And what, oh look at the strength of Miss Mendez right here. Deadlifting military press slam. Now that is oppressive right there. And doing some squats into a power slam. And then tossing her into the steel steps. I don't think Ashley Rose Mendez has won in singles action yet. She's been a, in a couple singles matches, but I think she's lost 
all of them. Most of her wins have been in tag team matches. Oh, and there's a super kick. Oh, big boot by Ashley. Ashley versus Ashley. What happened to the tag team I was in? Yeah. Both went on singles runs. Well, you had a more successful singles run than your partner, El Nino. But every now and then, I put you guys back together in tag team matches. Actually, Rosie, Rosie's gonna be in a tag match later on. Oh, missing with the Itsuguri. Oh, nice counter. And now Ashley Rose Mendez with the flap check. Referee, what the hell are you waiting for? And Spinebuster by Ashley Jericho. No relations to Chris Jericho. Kick. What a combination. And now Ashley Jericho suplexing Ashley Rose Mendez back into the ring. And now Ashley Jericho fall away slam. And now tossing her straight to the middle of the ring. Oh, missing with that front flip uh, clothesline in the corner. And now going for it again, the deadlift military press slam. Like from the looks of Ashley Rose Mendez, she <laughs> she doesn't look that strong, but she's really freaking strong. There's the spear. Three big win for Ashley Rose Mendez. Look out for Ashley Rose Mendez. She is on the rise. And here is your winner, Ashley Rose Mendez. So, big win for ARM, Ashley Rose Mendez.
So last Monday we had the over the top rope eight man battle royal to determine who will face Johnny Chaos at Civil War. And it was down to Anthony and James Casey. They were the final two. Anthony thought he had him. But then James Casey turned the tables, clotheslined him out of the ring, won the Battle Royal, and now is headed to Civil War, representing Mayhem, to face Johnny Chaos for the world title. But all that can freaking possibly change. determine what happens in the main event with OJJ and Johnny Chaos because if OJJ wins he's going to get a world title shot next week and it could possibly be him representing Chaos or Chaos representing Mayhem the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, he is the godfather of the Wolfpack Mafia, Anthony Walker. The way these matches have been going, this show is probably going to be like an hour and a half long. Or even, maybe even less. for life there he is the former LCW world champion from Nashville Tennessee James the Bull Casey I believe we have the women's tag match next. It'll be the team of Josie Jane and Rosie versus the Banditas, Maria and Jesse. Get some water real quick. James Casey trying to end it, end it early right there. There we go. Anthony Walker still um, deserves his one-on-one -on -one rematch for the world title. 
So he will face whoever ends up as the world champion after Civil War. We'll defend it that following month against Anthony Walker. And you never know if OJJ wins the world title and successfully defends it at Civil War. The possibility it could be OJJ versus Anthony Walker. that side slam. So far it's been all James Casey in this match. Anthony Walker with a back body drop to the outside. James Casey just tossing Anthony Walker back and forth right there. Oh, that slight hesitation costed James Casey. to the concrete. Can Anthony get him back in the ring though? After they're done playing ring around a Rosie. Tossing James Casey right there. Big right hand. Another big right hand. James Casey with a nice counter. Into a belly to belly suplex. Let's see if James Casey could get him back into the ring. Two are doing a lot of damage on each other on that concrete. And Anthony smartly rolling them back in. And now setting them up. And he's going for it. Spike pile driver. One. Two. Oh, and James Casey kicks out. Line by the former champ. Well, they're both former champions. Oh, and a move we haven't seen in. Well, actually, we saw it. We saw it last Friday, actually, when Bell did it on Low London. And there it is, the superplex to the outside onto the concrete. And smartly rolling him back in. Oh, he's gonna go for that spike pile driver again, but this time James Casey caught him. And now he's going for it. The pole bomb. Is that going to be it? Woo! And Anthony barely kicks out. 
And we see that running of the Bulls clothesline by James Casey. And now elbow shots right to the collarbone. There it is, the running of the Bulls clothesline. One, two, three. James Casey with a huge win over Anthony Walker. You never know, we might see this rematch again the Monday after Civil War if James Casey walks out of Civil War as a world champion, he will defend it against Anthony Walker that following Monday. And here is your winner, James the Bull Casey. I'm sure James Casey is going to be rooting for Johnny Chaos in the main event. Because he does not want OJJ to get that world title shot next week. Wave your hand, turn up the heat. Right, right now comes along. following contest is scheduled for one fall making her way to the ring first Josie Jane we saw her make her LCW debut last Monday against against Rosie in a great great one-on-one -on -one match This week, they're going to be teaming up together. The team of Josie and Rosie. And her tag team partner, Rosie. Come on, let's go.
queen done. And their opponents, Jesse and Maria, the Banditas. Now look at Josie Chain with that hurricanrana. Maria with the takedown. Fisherman takedown on Rosie. Rosie with a nice counter. Connects with that basement drop kick. Back body drop by Josie. Oh, missing with the Itsuguri. And now Jesse with the snap suplex. The Bandita's looking to get back in that women world tag or world tag team type of picture. I gave the the tag champs Undisputed Era the night off. Because the way the last few weeks have been for them, they deserve it. Well, they need it. Heading into their tag team title match next. Or. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're gonna defend their tag titles next Monday against Lobos. So far. Both TTV titles will be on the line next week. The women world tag titles will be on the line next week. And there's a good chance that the world title might be on the line. That's if OJJ wins. What's up, Colleen? In two chats again? Oh boy. Justice Cutter. Ref. Oh, she's got the submission, and he's more focused on the submission instead of the count. Happy now. I return to Outlast 2. I am very happy now. And I finished Outlast 2 on Halloween. <laughs> Did it on the hard difficulty. And if if the third outlast ain't ain't out by next Halloween, I'll probably stream Outlast 2 again, but on the hardest difficulty. And Josie breaking up that pinfall. Jawbreaker by Maria. Jesse going for a pump handle slam. Oh, and Rosie still, still alive.
And another pump handle slam again. Oh, what a what a block. <laughs> Josie was about to go break up the pinfall and then she just walked right into Maria's elbow. That was great. Let's see if we get that replay. Nope, wasn't here. Damn it. And here are your winners, the Banditas. Last time we saw Tyler Breeze was two weeks ago when he defeated yours truly to open up the show last or on that mayhem. Prince Pretty has got a warm up match against Akane Hero. Prince Pretty will be getting a TTV title shot next Monday. Could possibly be him representing mayhem against. Whoever just uh, whoever wins the number one contenders match next Friday. Well, that's if nobody beats me on Friday, this upcoming Friday, because I will be facing Adams one on one this Friday. Another actual rubber match, because he defeated me at the pay-per-view to take the tag titles. I got my revenge on him in the submissions match. So we were one on we're one and one and this will be the third match. following contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring from Osaka Japan Akane Hero and now CWOG Tyler Breeze's song is probably one of my favorites. Is in my eyes when you look at me. They are so gorgeous. They'll set you free. Could it be my walk or just my stare that makes you freeze when I am here? Super good looking everywhere in place. Everyone loves this gorgeous face. You can't deny my beauty shot I'm everything that you are not <laughs> oh, that's my favorite part with the chisel jaw
everyone loves this gorgeous face. And everything that you are not. He is gorgeous. Here we go, Tyler Breeze versus Akane Hero, one on one. Let's see if Pakani Hero can do me a little favor by by possibly doing some damage on him heading into the title defense next next Monday. Me hungry gonna lurk. All right, Colleen. No worries. Valley Driver. The kind of hero tossing Prince Pretty on the outside. And now Tyler Breeze, ooh, with a nice hurricanrana. And now Tyler Breeze, oh, I was about to say he's getting some offense in, but kind of hero has other plans. to the gut. This is awesome. Let's see if a kind of hero can get a big win over Tyler Breeze. Oh, playing possum. Kind of hero trying to steal one. Ooh, man. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for the for the beauty shot. 
Up oh, here it goes. Unprettier. Two. And a kind of hero kicks out. Knife as shot, Irish whip. Knee right to the right to the stomach again. And the kind of hero fighting back. Oh gotch pile driver. And Tyler Bruce smartly rolls to the outside. Poison miss and the penalty kick right across the face. Is that going to be it? Woo! Tyler Breeze still in it. But his face. His face covered with that mist. And trying to break the arm of Tyler Breeze. And Akani Hero. He's got him in that Akani lock. And Tyler Breeze fights out of it. Big elbow to the head. It's been a great match so far. And hits him with that corkscrew cutter. And now Tyler Breeze trying to steal one. One. Two. Also in three chats now. Anyways, free time lurking activated. <laughs> And the poison mist again connects. Connects Prince Pretty, then the kick to the face. That's gotta be it. Woo! I don't know how Tyler Breeze is kicking out of these moves. Won a hell of a match, though. Woo! <laughs> Connects with that moonsault. Or actually, the shooting star press. He's going to go for it again. And connects. Some of the clothesline. Another clothesline. And a drop kick. And connects with the super kick. What's he gonna do? He's gonna go for that shooting star press again. And got his knees up this time. Third time is not a charm. Oh, elbow busting open Prince Pretty. This has been a great match. And now going for the unprettier again. And connects. Pulls his, pulls his legs away from the ropes. Three, and Tyler Breeze gets a big win heading into his title match next Monday. And here is your winner, Tyler Breeze.
is in my eyes when you look at me they are so gorgeous they'll set you free I might have to get his theme song on Spotify I like it that much <laughs> Oh, this is a match I've been looking forward to right here. A match that King Drew wanted last week. Superman was busy inside the Battle Royal match. So now we're getting the rematch right now. King Drew versus King Tubaman. There we go. King Drew had a match last week. I forgot who he faced, but he did lose. Still looking for that first LCW win. Tell them victorious, and I will defend, I will defend. Glorious, I won't be pinned till I'm victorious. Oh, so glorious until the end, until the end. Glorious, no I won't be pinned, I won't be pinned till I'm victorious. She she barely made it to the stage. Did the bell even ring? Anyways, making his way to the ring, King Drew. Oh, I won't be pinned, I won't be pinned, oh so glorious, until the end, until the end. I gotta lie, his entrance is amazing. Well fit for a king.
the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Belfast, Ireland. King Tubamon. And you know what? If King Drew does win, then their rubber match will happen at... Mm, will happen next Monday. I was going to say it will happen at the pay-per-view, but every match is Mayhem versus Chaos. We got two long ass entrances. I thought that sign <laughs> said off with your head. Pinky's out. And we are underway with the rematch from a couple weeks ago. Tuber Man using his strength. But the last time Tuber Man fought King Drew, King Drew was slimmer and had no muscle at all. But as you can see, he's been working out. See if King Drew can finally get that win, the win that he wanted on his debut. Yeah, what's up, Ray? How's Uncharted going? And Tuberman shoving King Drew like nothing. Tuberman showing King Drew that he's the true king of LCW. Deadlift powerbomb. Oh, and there's a super kick right to the back of the head. And now King Drew. I don't even know what to call that move. That was strange. No oh, big clothesline by Superman though. Oh. Are we gonna see King Drew? Oh, go for that Phoenix Splash, but gets right back up. Tuberman got his knees up, but then King Drew stands right back up. Apparently, he takes no pain. Oh, 
And the Luke Des press. What? Oh, and there's that spear that won him the won him the match in the first in their first meeting. But King Drew fights it. Fights out of it. Now King Drew has to watch out for that Superman punch or the Superman punch. Oh, now he's going to go for that tuber bomb. And connects. Then connects with that Michinoku driver. Does not go for the pin for either one of them. King Drew gets right back up. I think Superman was going to set him up for that that Superman punch or the Superman punch and look at the strength of Superman Superman looking for a weapon under the ring but King Drew smartly goes right after him then tosses him back into the ring connects with the DDT I am actually pulling for King Drew in this match. We got the co-main event after this. Cat one on one with Fox. And now going for that super, super kick from the corner. And connects. One, two, three, and Tuberman defeats King Drew again. Tuberman proving why he is the true king of LCW. Looks like King Drew has to go rethink things in the back. It's time to move on from Superman and focus on some somebody else. I ain't even worried about King Drew. He's gonna He's gonna get that win eventually. There we go, co-main event. Cat one on one with Foxy. Cat will be defending her women's TTV title against Foxy's best friend Velvet next Monday. And I will be defending my TTV title next Monday as well against Tyler Breeze. And if OJJ wins in the main event, we might be adding another title match for next Monday.
following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring first from Boston, Massachusetts. Representing Team Evil Eye, Foxy. And her opponent from Denver, Pennsylvania. She is the LCW Women's TTV Champion, representing the Kitty Crew, Cat. Ow! Fucking creepers. will be defending that women's TTV title next Monday against Foxy's best friend Velvet. And we are underway. Cat getting the upper hand, working the arm of Foxy. And now wrenching on that arm. Cat looking to send a message to Velvet by defeating her best friend. And look at those multiple elbow shots. And now brushing her boot across the, the face of Foxy. Similar to what she did to her, or what she did to Giselle last Friday. I'm not sure who Kat's gonna face next Friday, or this Friday. Foxy playing possum. And now Foxy with the gator roll. Actually, you know what? I do have an opponent for Cat for this Friday. Cat will be going one on one with Low London. That's going to be a hell of a match. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. Because Low London's going to be the captain of the women's. Well, are we gonna have a women's a women's uh, elimination tag match? Oh yeah, we're gonna have one for the guys and one for the girls. Okay, yeah. So yeah, Low London will be the captain for the women's um, chaos elimination tag team uh, matchup. So Cat will face this Friday a woman who's been on fire the past few weeks. And that is Belle. Now Foxy, best moonsault ever. One, two, woo, man. And now Foxy, multiple headbutts. Looking to bust open Cat. I mean, if, if they allow that, which I wish they did. 
then Cat would be busted open right there after those headbutts. Oh, another headbutt. Cat smartly rolls to the outside. Oh, missing with the local effect right there. Foxy, who's going to be a part of the women's mayhem team at Civil War. And like I said last week, if I do lose the TTV title to Tyler Breeze next week, then I will be a part of Team Mayhem with Ray Wolf. Now Foxy, double letter hook, gut buster. Oh, bouncing her off the steel. And then Cat <laughs> got clotheslined by Casper. And bouncing her off the steel again. And the women's TTV champ takes some momentum into her title defense next Monday. Crowd not behind Cat right now. And oh, doing more damage to the head of Foxy right there. Oh, big clothesline. Then a kick from out of nowhere. Let's do one more for good measure. Nope, oh, never mind. Let's see if she gets her back into the ring, though. One of them, at least. And finally gets her back into the ring. Can Foxy finish off Cat? Possibly looking to set her up for Foxy's Law. Or set her up for the best moon salt ever. She's gonna go for it. Best moon salt ever! One, two, and Cat's still in it. There's the local effect. Is that going to be it? Woo, what a match. And twist of fate. And that's got to be it. And it is Cat with the win. Sending a clear message to Velvet. And getting herself some momentum heading into her title defense next Monday. But a great, great match.
between these two. And here is your winner, Cat. Here we go, main event, OJJ versus the world champion, Johnny Chaos. Now the last time <laughs> these two, well, it wasn't one-on-one, -on -one. it was during the elimination triple threat match, I believe, or fatal four-way. And it was down to these two, and man, they <laughs> did not want to lose they kicked out of each other's finishers like five six times so don't expect this to be a quick ass match and don't expect Johnny Chaos to to cheat his way to victory like he did against me a couple weeks ago on Chaos which I got my revenge that following Monday Here comes trouble, not gonna listen to anybody. Tell me who and what to be. My time and I can everybody. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring first. Representing the Wolfpack Mafia from Virginia Beach, Virginia. O. J. J. OJJ wins this match, he will get a world title match next Monday on the Go Home Show.
and his opponent. He is the LCW World Champion, Johnny Chaos, who has hasn't had much success on Mayhem. Johnny Chaos coming off a loss from yours truly last week in a Hell in a Cell match. Looking to get a bounce back win. Gave him the night off on Chaos last Friday to recover from that beating. But here we go. Main event. OJJ versus the world champ. Johnny Chaos. If OJJ wins, gets a world title shot next Monday. Down by OJJ into an STF. But the champion fights back. Oh, nice takedown by OJJ. JJ going to the top rope. Don't see this much often. Oh. And now brushing his boot across the face. Taking a page out of Cat's book right there. Now OJJ deadlift. Gut wrench suplex. Hangs on and connects with the second one. Hangs on again. And connects with the third, the trifecta. John Chaos going for the kick, but nice counter by OJJ. OJJ wants that world title shot. Actually, you know what? Yeah, if OJJ does... does win the world title next week, because James Casey's already booked for... Civil War to represent Mayhem. If OJJ wins on Friday, next Friday, I'll do another Battle Royal and we'll have a Fatal 4-Way. It'll be James Casey, OJJ, Johnny Chaos, and whoever wins that battle royal. So there'll be two mayhem, two chaos involved in the match. Could have easily did a triple threat, but 
two mayhem versus one chaos. Not fun. So if OJJ wins right now, gets a title shot next week, and then wins the title, then we'll do a fatal four way that following Friday, or not a fatal four way, uh, a battle royal to determine the fourth person to be involved in that fatal four way match. But Johnny Chaos does not want that to happen. He just wants to defeat him right now and then face James Casey one on one at Civil War. Oh, there's that power bomb. Hangs on for a third. Connects. And now connects with the punt kick. Oh no, he missed. But walks right into the clothesline from hell. And now setting him up again. This time he connects. Has OJJ earned himself a world title shot. Johnny Chaos kicking out of the punt kick. And a spear. Is that going to be it? <laughs> I, that's already what? Four finishers. They did two on each, on each other. And kicked out. There's the gut check. And OJJ finishes it off with that basement drop kick. And now the yes kicks. And now he's got him in the arm bar but too close to the ropes. Puts him with a double axe handle, another double axe handle. Then a power slam. And now looking to finish him off with the heart attack elbows. One more for good measure. Oh, Johnny Chaos with the dragon screw takedown. Goes with a quick pin. And now there it is, the sunset flip. Three, Johnny Chaos with the win, and it looks like his match with James Casey will remain one on one at Civil War. And what a way to end the night with the ref getting knocked out. But OJJ will be a part of Team Mayhem at Civil War. So, right now it's just Ray Wolf and OJJ. We'll see who else joins Team Mayhem. All right. So there we have it. At the end of the show, great show. Kicked it off with the steel cage match between Velvet and Lola. That was freaking amazing. 
ended it with this. Another great match. An instant classic between these two. But this Friday, it'll be yours truly one-on-one -on -one with Adams in a championship eliminators match or whatever they call it in WWE now. Plus, it's a rubber match, a grudge match between us two. And then also, Psycho Clown will be defending his hardcore title against, or not Psycho Clown, Mass Terror, who's the new champ, will be defending his hardcore title. Let's see, Cat will be facing Bell in a championship eliminators match. And much, much more, so you want to tune in. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for everybody who's been lurking. And I'll catch you guys this Friday for some Friday Night Chaos. Look.